Instead of wasting your money on packs and getting jack shit in them, might as well just buy coins from FIFA Ultimate Team Coins and get the players that you want, the team of the year, team of the week, or whatever players that you want, and make sure you use the code MASTER for 5% off. And hello everybody. This is Eli here, and due to my brother's request, I am bringing you a video today about how to use custom tactics. Now, this is, to be honest, really new to me. I have never used custom tactics before. I like I was like too fucking lazy to be honest to use them. And then my brother one he just like I don't know a couple of days ago was telling me like check this out, see if you can do anything with the custom tactics and I started fucking around with them. And I started getting like figuring out good ways to use custom tactics and now I've been playing some of the best FIFA I've ever played. I I've been on like nine game winning streak, absolutely destroying everyone. It's not even funny. So Custom tactics matter as opposed to what I thought before, they actually do matter. So here, this is, I'm just gonna go through, this isn't gonna be gameplay, I'm just gonna go through what I do with custom tactics, what I've been doing at least with custom tactics. So as you see here, this is a 3-5, what is this? 3-5-2 formation. You got like two center defensive mids, left mid, right mid, center attacking mid, and two strikers. Now, with, okay, other than the custom tactics, I'm just going to go through a bit my, with this formation and how it works with the custom tactics. So with this formation, you need three center bricks that, that can actually fucking pass. Okay, so you don't want people who just cannot pass because like one misfield plays pass by a center back and it goes to the striker and then he scores and then celebrates on you for two minutes, which you do not want at all. So look, as you see here, these are like the best passing center backs I could find basically in the Premier League. So, and then you want two holding mids, we're pretty good defensively and passing wise, so that's why I go with Fabregas and Yaya Ture. Left mid, right mid, you need like pace, so, oh yeah, these are like really good, but you could like put Shirle here, William here. Center attacking mid, Di Maria is fucking amazing, I'll talk about that later. And then your two strikers, you need pace, okay? So, now, going to the custom tactics, so you, what, you press Y on Xbox, and you go to instructions. Alright, so. These are, okay, so we'll, we'll go like player by player, all right? So you want your strikers in this sort of formation and then later in the custom tactics you have to put counter-attacking. So like I play counter-attacking football now, like possession but with the counter-attacking player. So these two strikers, all right? So in terms of defensive pressing, you, it doesn't really, I, I, I figured it didn't really matter that much. Like, if you want, like, to press the back line, that's good. But they get drawn out a lot, so I prefer just to, like, run with them manually. So I just keep this on, like, basic defensive support. So, these two on basic defensive support. Um, supporting runs. It doesn't really, like, sometimes I want them to drift wide, and sometimes I want them to keep central. Right, so sometimes if I feel like it, I would usually put stay central, but no, I'm just put it, I'll put it as like balanced, because like sometimes, All right? And then, oh, this, all right, this is the most important one. In terms of attacking runs, you have to put get in behind. So get in behind is like basically they'll make a lot of runs, okay? As opposed to target man, target man is the center back will drop back to get the ball. You don't want that. I already have an attacking mid who could run Di Maria who could run fast. I don't need a guy to hold up the ball usually. So I want them running. So I would just put like get in behind for both of these guys. Okay? So now your left mid, right mid, this is really important. So defensive support. It matters what your style of play is. I just keep this as basic. You could keep if you want to play super defensive and you just want to play with your center attacking mid it's two strikers, that's fine. But so you would just keep these guys like come back on defense or like to stay defensive, right? Or if you want to attack, you put like stay forward. I keep this like in a neutral stance, like whatever. This is really important, okay? Stay wide. So this chance, so you could either tell him to cut inside or stay wide. I tried playing with cut inside for a while, but all he would do is just stop running and wait for you to give him the ball, which like sucks. So you want him to stay wide, you want them to make runs down the wing. So put stay wide on this one. Like trust me, this is probably the most important one out of all of these. Supporting runs also get in behind, you want them to make runs. So I don't like them coming short, I like them making runs. So also put get in behind. 
Uh, for crossing, I don't even cross that much, so I just keep this in like balance, doesn't miss it. And then stick position, I don't want them to like cut inside, I want them to stay down the wing, my wingers. I use them that way, okay? So that is for your wingers, for your center attacking mid, I just stick to position, I don't want him to like move out of position. I like, me, I like players to stick to position because a lot of times I pass it and I know they're gonna be there, so I don't want him to be like somewhere else so I, I would know I, I want him to be in that that hole between the two strikers so I could get him the ball uh, crossing get into the box for a cross I don't usually cross if anything I put this on stay on the edge like I don't want him to like get inside the box too much and then for defensive support I just keep this on basic I don't you know this is really important for your center defensive mids I always put it stay back while attacking you already have basically four guys but five guys attacking, I do not need my center defensive mids to keep making runs and leave my defense, three man defense exposed. So I'll just keep it a stay back while attacking. Um, and this one, like for both center defensive mids, I keep them like stay back while attacking. Like I always want them to stay back. Like still, like even though you put this, they will creep up forward and like eventually they'll attack a bit but not as much so you want them to keep them back as much as possible and to for them to cover your defense and then defense of course stay back while attacking for the love of god do not tell play a striker or god forbid join the attack all right so tell them to join the attack you'll be stuck with two guys on defense and the other guy has a barbell running at you at i don't know whatever 90 fucking pace bad idea so stay back while attacking all right so those are like in a nutshell, like you could adjust these to your style of play, like that's my style of play, do whatever you want. But it's like really important. So if your style, and I find that this sort of FIFA, like you want them to be making runs, just possession for the sake of possession is okay. But you want someone to make runs. If no one's making runs, like you're, you're done. You can't really run on your own, you can. But it's much better if someone makes a run and then you could like give them a Y or something. So you want, I, I set up my cut tactics in a way that everyone that I want to be attacking is making runs. Alright? So, and this team is just fucking amazing. Uh, you know, my two wingers and then Di Maria by far. I've had the most fun with them. Like, I don't know if it's better than Messi. Messi is still like fucking amazing. But other than Messi, Di Maria is probably the best player I've ever played with. If you guys get this to 200 likes, as my brother says, I will upload a video of gameplay in Division 1 with this custom tactic and hopefully show you how I'm playing really well with this and show you how like I use Di Maria and all of these. I, I could like walk through how how I use this and this for me, this is like by far the best formation. So I'll show you how I use my custom tactics with the formation and with counter-attacking and you, how you balance that with possession. And you shouldn't really lose. Like, with this, honestly, I have not lost one game. I haven't even gone close to losing a game. So, well, that's that. So, this is this is Eli signing out. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, bring this to 200 likes, and then I'll upload, or my brother will upload a video of my gameplay. Peace out.